The Biden administration came under intense fire today after announcing that it planned to keep in place the Trump administration's refugee cap. That historically low level set by former President Trump had allowed only 15,000 refugees to settle in the U.S. every year. But as News 8's Richard Allen reports, Biden later appeared to change course, although questions remain as to what is behind these sudden moves. Well, that's right. The Biden administration appeared to do an about face late today when the White House said the president would establish a new increased refugee cap, but did not provide specific numbers. Earlier this year, though, he had committed to a very clear number. This executive order will position us to be able to raise the refugee admissions back up to 125,000 persons for the first full fiscal year of the Biden-Harris administration. That was President Biden speaking on February 4th, but today he appeared at least initially to reverse course, announcing Friday morning he planned to keep the historically low refugee cap set by the Trump administration at only 15,000 refugees admitted to the U.S. annually. Last year, there was just over 11,000 refugees that um, were able to resettle the, throughout the entire country. But Humaira Yousafi is interim executive director of PANA, the Partnership for the Advancement of New Americans, a nonprofit based in City Heights that advocates for refugees. Historically, San Diego has been um, one of the highest destinations for refugee resettlement. Yousafi said she is disappointed and frustrated that the new administration does not appear to be holding to its original promise. For us and for all of the refugees who've been waiting the past four years and longer um, to, to come here, to they're fleeing danger, living in refugee camps all over the world. They've waited long enough. It's inconsistent with the commitment it's, it's made to the international community about being a place of refuge. And Pedro so Rios is director of the American Friends Service Committee here in San Diego. He says in light of the attention that the situation at the border has been receiving, this move to lower the refugee cap may be politically motivated. I think there's some political pressure. Probably they're thinking of uh, midterm elections. This is the opportunity to demonstrate that we can be compassionate to the asylum seekers at the border, but also to refugees seeking um, to come to the United States and, and rebuild their lives here. And the president is expected to establish that new refugee cap by May 15th.